I think it's it's has many good features. My only uh, unhappiness with it is it doesn't really go far enough. I think we've got to restructure our veterans program so that they really uh, do the job for the Vietnam veterans in a way that uh, the GI Bill did it for me when I got out of World War II. Well, now you're particularly interested in the educational benefits then for veterans. That's exactly right. I think this is really where the problem lies. Uh, at the present time the benefits are poorly structured and they're poorly financed and veterans uh, can't really afford to take advantage of the benefits and as the high unemployment rates of uh, the veterans show uh, they they can't get jobs without the education so they're caught between the bark and the tree well the increase of eight uh, percent to meet the cost of living uh, to me falls far short of the mark uh, I've held hearings for the League of Cities of Mayors all over the United States and I heard the gripes of the Vietnam veteran and uh, the two hundred twenty dollars a month that we pay him now for room board and tuition uh, it's just not enough. He can't cut the mustard with this little money, amount of money, and with an 8% increase, it doesn't help him very much. I've, I've appeared before the Veterans Committee. Uh, they've come out unanimously and uh, recommended 13.6%. Uh, this is a lot better than 8%, and I think this is where the battle will take place in the floor of the House.